The other big story tonight, the teacher strike in the Sac City Unified School District. I have never seen such profound disrespect for not only the employees, but for the students in the classroom as well, who go every day without teachers. Over 5,000 students in this district do not have a full-time teacher. That was live today on Morning Blend, a sign of just how far apart teachers in the district are. Confirmation tonight, the strike will go into a second day. Both sides engaged in a waiting game. We didn't avert a strike. We had a strike now. My hope is that uh, that strike will not endure. Uh, my hope was that it wouldn't go beyond today. Um, we have offered and we have made it clear to our labor partner that our negotiations team is ready, stands ready to negotiate. Uh, we are waiting uh, for a response. Again, the district confirming late this afternoon, students will not be going back to campus on Thursday as negotiations continue. And after two years of adjustments in the face of the pandemic, students are back out of the classroom. The future of this semester of education is not certain. Parents are especially concerned. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live at the school district office now with more Luke. Chris, yes, unless, unless there's an extraordinary breakthrough between labor and school administration in the next few hours, we will see day one of this strike bleed into day two. And with everything that has happened over the last two years, this is the last thing that parents need right now. We spoke to a few of them in South Sacramento tonight. As if the ups and downs of the last two years weren't enough, one more thing, turning family lives upside down. Right now, nothing. No teacher, no, nothing. Laura Rodriguez says her son, Kevin, has struggled in some subjects since the pandemic. Math, he knows, he do for himself, but uh, for reading, he's a little bit hard. And now, the teachers and staff union strike. 43,000 students across the district's 76 campuses without a classroom again. And for how long? We really don't know, you know, how long it's going to be. Justin Nunes says with mom at home with their youngest, they don't have to worry about child care right now. If we both, you know, were out working or whatever, it'd be it'd be extremely difficult, you know, to to find somebody. They know not every family is so lucky. What's name? Uh, Zavina. Despite the challenges and sacrifices asked yet again of parents and their kids. I want to know his teacher, this teacher have uh, my support. Support. So I'm trying to explain to them that it's kind of part of like American values if you think about it, like strikes and, you know, boycotts and those kind of things are kind of like instilled in our values. And then this hardship too, uh, yeah? a lesson. Hello. Hi. And I have to tell you, despite those inconveniences and disruption to education overall, most parents that we have spoken to say that they support the teachers in this strike, that they hope that they get what they are asking for, but they also hope that this strike comes to an end soon.